And as Tony mentioned, Florence won't be a direct hit here at home, but it's already having an impact on local waters. Waves along beaches continue growing right here, climbing to 12 feet throughout the day. And officials are warning you to stay out of the water and off any rocks and jetties. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh is live in Narragansett with what the Coast Guard is now saying to boaters. Kate? Well, Mike and Shannon, we are live at Camp Cronin, part of Narragansett. And take a look behind me. In the far distance, you can see the skies are trying to clear up. We do see some peaks of blue out there. But in the water, we just noticed a few minutes ago, four surfers have arrived to this part to try these waves. They're very different from other parts of Narragansett, especially in town and by the lighthouse at Point Judith. If you were watching live at noon this afternoon, we were here, and that was around high tide when waves were crashing over the rocks behind me, hitting our truck at times. There's just something about the lure of the ocean. The way the waves crash down on the shore. The sound the stones make as the waves pull back out. That mesmerizing force strengthened by Hurricane Florence swirling off the Carolinas Thursday attracted dozens of people to Point Judith and Narragansett at 11.06 Thursday morning, high tide. On the other side of the lighthouse and Coast Guard station, the waves look really nice and like I'm really excited. Estimated 12 foot max waves beckoned this surfer from Quincy to ride. It does make me nervous when it's a little bigger and uh, not super familiar with the area. Other surfers watched in awe from the lookout. It's too big for us. We're just we're just newbies, otherwise known as kooks. They described why anyone would want to go out in such dangerous looking conditions. When you get through that peak of your fear and you get on the other side of it, that's where the true adrenaline rush turns into the dopamine response of just uh, pure bliss. The Coast Guard's advice, know your limits. Boaters heed weather advisories. Narragansett Fire Chief Scott Partington said their biggest concern isn't the skilled surfers, but people going out on the slippery rocks and jetties, prompting the town to set up barriers and notices at the end of streets, preventing access to that rocky coast. Now, low tide here in Narragansett was at 5.01 this afternoon, so just minutes ago, and that means the tide is actually as far out as it's been since we've been here since this morning. Also, the waves don't seem as strong as they were this morning when you saw in that video at high tide. New at 6 o'clock tonight, the perspective of a photographer of this high surf. Live in Narragansett, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. Our team coverage continues now with Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh. She joins us live from Narragansett with the South County Mobile Newsroom. Kate? Mike and Shannon, we're live at Camp Cronin here in Narragansett. And throughout the day, we've seen dozens of people gather here, all with their phones and cameras out, trying to take pictures of this high surf. The frightening beauty of Mother Nature, difficult to capture with just one snapshot. Sometimes you get a nice wave breaking, like just over the lighthouse. Right? That's kind of what I've been shooting at. I got about 300 pictures I've taken already. I'm not happy with the one of them yet. In a photo, you have to imagine this roar of the waves. 12 foot high waves at times on Thursday. Timid people do not get good pictures, all right? You gotta get close, you gotta be where the action is. Close, but not too close. Narragansett Fire Chief Scott Partington advising everyone to stay off rocks and jetties. The town setting up barriers at the end of streets with access to rocky ledges. The Coast Guard advised boaters should heed weather advisories and surfers should use caution at all beaches in Rhode Island. To me, it's all about spending time in a very mindful way with this power and being really respectful of it. Beautiful, but powerful, so take heed. And according to the Coast Guard, Point Judith Station, which is really just alongside us, they said they have not had any rescues or concerns due to this high surf, but they are just keeping that advisory out for everyone to play it safe when the waves are this big. High tide is again at 1129 tonight. Low tide was at 501, so we can expect the surf and the tide to come back in and possibly see bigger tides closer to shore tonight. Live in Narragansett, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness news. Thank you, Kate, and you can count on Eyewitness News for continuing coverage as we track Hurricane Florence on air and online at WPRI.com.